Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We need to return to the council and we need to find out what the Mandalorians are doing on this place, as, on this planet as well. We've run across several groups of them and that's no good for anybody involved. I want to get uh, Bastila back out and because the Mandalorian's probably pretty tough when you find out whatever the hell they're doing and I want to have two Jedi with me when that happens. So let's go back on the Ebon Hawk. Let's see if we can't talk to, uh, not Mish, and, uh, Bastila and Carthonassi while we're on board. There's Mission. Nope. go over here. Anybody in here? Nope. There they are. How can I help? I want to talk about the dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. I did not understand why we shared this vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place. To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. How did our fates become linked? I, I don't know. Believe me. I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Well, thanks a lot. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. I have another question. What would you like to know? Why did we dream about Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. Well, I certainly didn't want to have a dream about them. What do you mean, a trace? They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. Maybe simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. I'm not sure the like I like the idea of you being my dreams. Did you think we received these... With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. That's all I wanted to know. You, you really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Okay, let's talk to uh, Karth here. Hey, Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. Okay. You got it. Let's take, uh... Let's take, uh, her. And... A little droid with us. I should probably re equip him anyway. Haven't taken him, taken him on a mission in a while, and he can do all the different things that mission can do, I believe, like picking locks and security systems and doors and whatnot. Oh, oh. Auto level up. Let's see, uh. Clip that. One to eight, one to eight. One to 
on the eight. Computer probe. That. Okay, awesome. Sure. Let's go speak to the council real quick. And then we will return to the battlefield and we will try to find out what the fuck's going on with the Mandalorians. And hopefully not get our ass kicked because that's a very real possible when you're dealing with Mandalorians. They are natural warriors in the Star Wars universe. I'm surprised the Matales and whatnot aren't here trying to bitch about us. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you come seeking? As chronicler, you should ponder the... Let us just learn from this, don't we? I'll find a way to solve it. May the force be... Okay, I already did all those. Rehazia Sandral and Shen Matali have come here seeking shelter against their families. The council has decided to give it to them. Their love for each other was being denied by overly possessive parents. And we learned that it was only by your intervention that they managed to escape here. While it is regrettable that the fences between the families were not repaired, it is good that these two young lovers can live their lives free of oppression. Your training is not... When we heard of the ruin, we sent a Jedi, the Force, the secrets to... I'd like to ask some questions. I'll investigate the ruins. What happened to the... Okay. The way ahead will be... I already talked about all of that. What about you? Shen and Rahasia have been granted asylum here at the Enclave until they can find a way to deal with their families. I hear you had something to do with that. It is the way of the Jedi to provide help to those in need, and you seem to have lived up to this duty. I congratulate you, Padawan. Okay, so how about you? I have nothing left to teach you, Padawan, though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the Masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. Yeah, they already gave me instructions on that. I probably heard that before and just don't... Let's go back out. See if we can't find... Uh... There's Juhani, there's Jedi... Protocol droid. There's a Pazak player. Rahasia and I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love without fear of reprisals from our families. I'm just glad I could help. What are your plans now? Rahasia and I can spend the rest of our lives together. All thanks to you. Good luck to you both. May you find the happiness you deserve. Rahasia and I cannot... What are your plans now? So, any kids on the way yet? <laughs> we'll stay here for the next little while. We're still hoping our parents will learn to set aside their differences and welcome us back into their homes. If they do not, uh, well, perhaps you will travel to Coruscant or to the Core Worlds and make our fortunes there. Good luck to you both. May you find the happiness you deserve. Okay, let's talk to Rahasia. I am sorry we have nothing of value to give you as a reward. Our families have cut us off completely. Had the council not taken us in, we would be foraging in the wilderness to survive. I'm glad they did. I'm glad. I'm just glad I could help you. The council will let us stay here as long as we want. Though I know Shen and I are both hoping our fathers will forgive us and welcome us back into their homes. If not, we will try to build a future somewhere else. I wouldn't put uh, too much stock into that. Let's see what she says if you choose the other option. I'm sorry we have nothing of value. When I first met Shen, I feared our forbidden love was doomed to a tragic end. But thanks to you and the Jedi Council, our story ends in joy. It was almost put to a tragic end, but we were able to get you out. So, I mean, one of them, your brother's dead. That's pretty tragic. Shin was kidnapped, but we were able to rescue him. I do not know the count. Okay, let's see if, uh... You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. 
For this, you deserve the highest praise. Okay. She was kind of a bitch to us at first, but now she likes us. Awesome. What are these guys directly outside the chamber, the, the enclave one? I don't remember off the top of my head. Load, 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 load. Settler, settler, Jedi. What do you want? How may I be of assistance? Ah, but you are still a Jedi. How may I be of assistance? Who are you? My name. A pleasure. Live on one of the northern farms, but. The cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late and ever since with the Sith, the Jedi are even they're worried. Is there anything else? Yeah, we uh Farewell then. Did this in a previous episode, so he wants to deal with the Cath Hounds, which we already did in the Je and the Mandalorians. Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? I killed some of them on the planes. Good. Good. Put them down like the animals they are. But now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. I'll come back if I find their leader. Oh, thank you, young Jedi. Okay, so that guy wants us to kill the thing. Let's go talk to this lady about her droid. Hi. Aren't you just a sweet little droid? Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's... I know. It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. Creepy. Let's go back out this way. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm not sure that there's a different way that you can end the Matali feud without actually, like, killing anybody. I think they just wind up still hating each other because their hatred is way too deeply rooted for you to do a single thing about because they won't listen to reason. And the two, the two young ones just run away. Hey, it's Cathound. Shall we go kick its ass? I think we shall. Cat hound. There's another cat hound back there too. Oh, he's going the long way around. Where, where'd he go? Push A to activate an offensive power. First power in the third icon. Said, okay. Yeah, force lightning. Come on, little droid dude. Okay, let's continue exploring. I don't remember off the top of my head exactly where the ruins are. I don't remember where the Mandalorian thing is either. I'm here. What? Okay, let's walk around and let's let our uh, force powers Recharge. There's a that looks like the ruins. I don't want to go there just yet. I want to deal with the Mandalorians first. So let's find them wherever they are. Pretty sure we're gonna have to find and kill their leader, and that should be fun. Let's go to the Matali grounds and see if we can look around there and find them because they're causing trouble somewhere out here. 
<laughs> and I think the only way we're going to be able to deal with the Mandalorians is by brute force. I want to make sure I save as close to it as possible, because, uh, like I said, probably a pretty tough fight if I was to venture a guess. There's a Cath Hound. Let's get a little bit more experience, shall we? Guess that's as far as I can rotate the camera. Basila, where are you? There you are. Dead. Okay. There's another cath hound. You can actually get uh, three levels of force lightning. Let's see, uh, skill. Feet. Horsepower. Can we get this yet? Nope. Let's get that. No, I wanted to... Get that. There we go. That was worth it, we gained another level, so... We're gradually becoming a Jedi badass. Jedi badasses are freaking metal, by the way. And I should know, if you've explored my other channel, you should know that I know all about things that are heavy metal. Or, I know a lot that there is to know about... He and speaking of that channel... I really need to find more things to upload to it because I'm kind of running low. Like, I've got uh, three songs by a t band called Terror. And Terror was a very short lived um, grindcore band with John, the lead, with the lead singer of Dissection. There's Courtyard, so that's not where we're going. And three members of Not Hate Eternal at the gates. And they recorded, they were together for a few weeks. And they recorded one single demo that is three tracks long and it's like eight minutes of music. And that is literally all they did. But I have their demo and I'm uploading that now and then after I get that uploaded which that'll take two more days so it'll probably be uploaded by the time that this goes up I am going to be officially out of things to upload to my channel unless I want to upload something from a band that I have previously uploaded that'll be all I'll have left it's stuff from bands that I have uploaded before So I really kind of want to go find some more stuff and download it and upload it. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. There's Grove. I didn't fully explore the Sandral Grounds, did I? Or the area around it, I think. Courtyard. Let's go over here to the Grove. And we'll see if... I mean, I think the Grove has an entrance to the Sandral Grounds somewhere in it as well. So we should be able to find what we're looking for there, I believe.
Yeah, there, there's plenty of other stuff for me to try to find and download. I, and I have a, like one prerequisite for stuff that I upload to that channel, and that is if the band of release it officially i.e. they put it they gave their demos as bonus tracks or they put out a compilation of demos like the frostland tapes by dark throne which contains several of their early death metal demos before their first album soulside journey i won't upload that you know at that so like at this point because of the uh Record store day release. I cannot upload anything. I cannot upload uh, Metallica's No Life to Leather demo because that's officially been released. Granted, in a different form than you can could have downloaded it back in the day, but it has officially been released, which makes it off limits for me to post, really. There's a little bridge over here. Let's go across it. At least by my standards, it does. I don't want to get a bunch of copyright strikes on my channel. And I think I probably, even though I am not uh, making a dime off of any of this, I think I probably would get some copyright strikes. if I were to upload stuff like that because that would definitely at least get copyright claims and I try to avoid that as much as possible on that channel. I have gotten some in the past. Yes, I'm here. What? Okay, so here's another Mandalorian t little outpost that we already dealt with. We should be running low on these because we kicked so many of their asses already. Let's continue over this way. Hey, there's another calf hound. You know what, I'm going to equip, uh, armor. What? Now can I equip armor? Eight, seven... Normal clothes. I never equipped anything other than that. Well, Jedi robes will be better for her. Sure. I'm sure. Okay, I went that way. So let's go this way then. They have to be somewhere out here. I keep searching till I find them. Well, there's a calf hound, though. Damn, I can leap a long way. Yeah, I got him. Plus two will, plus two awareness.
plus two to strength. Okay, where in the grove am I? Okay, that's where uh, Juhani was found. This is where she was. So, I know where in the grove I am now. Now I need to know how to kick this cat hound in the teeth. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage right there. You almost did. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. There's gotta be somewhere around here. That looks like that might be them. Let's save real quick. Is this them? Are these they? Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Oh my god, that was a tough battle. I lost that battle several times before I finally won. Remains. Lightsaber. Lightsaber. Ooh. <laughs> 
Yes. We can even get a red one. Watch. Oh, look at that. It's awesome. Let's see. Uh, air. Let's look at that backpack. Nothing. Let's look at these remains. Okay. Force heal. Force heal. Force heal. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. Oh no, I wanted to do this. One more time. Sure. Okay. I'm sure that one guy will be glad to know that these Mandalorians have been dealt with. You have met and slain the Mandalorian leader, Shurik. He liked to collect lightsabers and surely would have taken yours and your head had he not slain him. John would surely like to hear about this and should reward you well. Okay, and I'm going to do that in the next episode. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. <laughs>